We came to the Yield community about 10 years ago, and when we came here, we didn't really know anyone in the shul. Um, we chose the shul because it had a young couple's minion, and we figured that would be a good place to start. And it was really close to the house, and we figured this was just a, a really good place to kind of get involved in a community. So we went upstairs, and I went into shul. Sarah waited in the lobby for me and uh, there was not a seat in the house. Every time I thought I found a seat, someone told me it was someone else's seat. We were about to walk out and some woman walks over to us and she says, are you new here? Um, and we introduced ourselves and she says, I'm Autumn Mail. Give me one minute, I'll be right back. She runs up those stairs and about two minutes later, she comes back with this frazzled guy who clearly was Bruce Mail. And uh, Bruce found me a seat inside. Sarah sat inside with Autumn. And the rest is history. We came back the next week. I think the youth committee, the youth activities in the shul are very important. It attracts young families to the shul. So we got involved with the youth program um, when Jacob was around two. Um, Stacy Mayer really um, started um, a terrific group for the younger kids and Jacob loved it and he loved going to shul right away. He started making friends in the neighborhood from it. We went to the shul to decorate the sukkah. Of course they had pizza. You could draw pictures. You could make things that go around the sukkah. I think Yoke had the best sukkah in the five towns. This is where we wanted to be involved. We wanted to be involved in youth. And I went to Steve and I said, Steve, can I join your youth committee? And he said to me, I have a better idea. How about you run the youth committee? Ari brought a renewed energy to the youth department. He made sure that we had a youth director who was doing the right type of activities, the right type of programming um, to bring a lot of new couples into the shul. Ari is a tremendous mentor. He is extremely passionate about creating a safe and fun youth department for not only his children, but any child that walks through the doors of Yolk. And they have loads of games, so it's very fun, and I have some of my friends there which I can play with, and everyone's happy. But we knew we had to make it fun for the kids. And, uh, and I put together an email and I said, these are all the different things that we need. This is what every single thing will cost. And I gave it to Marvin, he sent it out to the shul. When Marvin called me on the phone and told me that there were more people who wanted to donate than we actually had things to donate, it was just amazing. It, led me, it, it made me realize that we were really onto something here. And one thing that I think is also really nice about the youth program is it's not just about the fun. Um, you know, Alyssa does a really good job of also, um, you know, bringing Torah in. The kids, um, you know, have their own um, mini shul once a month. Um, there's father-son learning, which my favorite part about it is that you get to learn with your dad. Um, you know, the rabbis come in, they really take an interest in the kids, they really interact with the kids, um, which is really nice for them. From day one, we worked tirelessly together to create a thriving youth department. You know, one thing that Alyssa had us do when she first took over as youth director, she said, I want to make a community-wide event. I want everyone in the community to see how amazing YILK in the youth program is. We were able to shine an enormous light on Yilk through extraordinary Shabbos programs, exciting holiday programs, and everything in between. It was just amazing. The entire community was talking about it. Our shul grew tremendously after that. And it's just because people bought into the fact, and because it's true, that Yilk youth is super important to the shul's future. Um, I go upstairs to shul, and um, I dab I sit next to Mommy and Daddy and Davin with them, and I go to the candy man and eat. Candy. I like the youth programs at Yoke. They're all super good. Thank you, Sarah and Ari, for always being there to help Mazel Tov. They're great people. They're really pillars of the community. And we're so happy that they're being honored by Yoke this year. Mazel Tov, Mommy and Daddy. We love you. And we love Yoke. Yoke is more than just a shul. It's more than a community. It's a home. <laughs>